Hello folks, today we're going to talk how to import an airfoil into XFLR5 software. We covered already the airfoil tools website, which gives you possibility to find various type of airfoils. There are some generators of airfoils or databases. So I'm going to show you today several ways to get an airfoil from here, from airfoil tools, and then two ways of getting airfoil in XFLR5. One is by importing, another is by creating NACA airfoil inside of the software. So for example, if we cover again NACA airfoils, which is quite straightforward, you have all the generator here or a database. Let's try different variants. For example, same airfoil you can get or by generating or by searching for it. For example, I don't know, you need like 2412. You can get 2412 here by searching as well. Here you have it. And also you can generate 2412 basically from here. What you need to download from this website specifically for importing in XFLR5 is a DAT file. And this DAT file has two different formats. Here you see them. For XFLR5, we need a Selic format DAT file, which looks like this. What we can do is copy all these data, then create some kind of text file and save it as a DAT format. Here you see. So here's the name of the airfoil and then dot dat. And this file then you can open actually in XFLR5. When you open the software, you've got something like this. I'm not sure if it's the latest interface, but it's something new. What developers of the software did actually some time ago, they changed the interface. Now it looks like this. So here are several modules. We will need XFOIL direct analysis. So the 2D analysis of this software is based on XFOIL, which is code available online specifically for airfoil analysis. So what we need is a XFOIL direct analysis. You go here and such kind of window appears. There are like two different variants of interface. Here we will get actually an airfoil and a pressure coefficient distribution around the airfoil. And in this window, we're going to get all the graphs after analysis. So what we can do is open. Here's our DAT file. And here we have it, the airfoil. Another way which is available in this software is if you go to design, and NACA airfoils. Specifically for four and five digit airfoils, you can actually recreate the airfoil inside of the software. So you just simply write, I don't know, the name. If you want the same name, 2412, or another name, for example, 4412. And you have two different airfoils.